So hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to set up a Rust development environment in FreeBSD with VS Code and Rust App. We're going to be installing Rust Owl to look at lifetime of variables and Rust Analyzer. Okay, let's do this. So we need to log in as root. So we do vim etc pkg freebsd and here we see quarterly written, we delete this and write latest. Now we need to do a pkg update. And now we do a pkg install vs code rust up init and we need git. We don't need to be root anymore, so we log out from root. Let me increase the font size a little bit, so you can see things a little bit better. These next commands are really, really important. So now we issue the following command, rust up init, profile minimal, default toolchain, nightly 2025-02-22, the following components, rust source, we also need cargo, we need Rust C dev and LLVM tools preview dash Y enter. As a next step, we need to run this small command. This will uh, set cargo uh, into the environment variable, into the path, and it updates automatically the profile. All right, so let's go back. And um, let me create a directory called git. Let's go here and let's get git repository for Rust Owl. Go to this directory. Currently, the latest version is version 0 0.1.4. So let's check out that version. Git checkout v014. And now I'm going to uh, show you how to compile, but I'm going to do a mistake first intentionally and um, you're going to see this mistake and then you can see how to fix this. So to compile we issue a rust up run on the nightly 2025-02-22 with cargo install path dot with lock. So I'm going to copy this command because I'm in the wrong directory. So I don't want to execute it now. And let's change here, paste the command and let's get this running. Okay, so as you can see, we didn't compile. Um, we have some errors and as I said, this is one problem that you might think, well, what have I done wrong? And here you have good hint. It took me some time to figure this out and to solve the problem, but it's related to this particular error message here. No space available for static thread local storage. Man, RTLD. So let's search for the thread local storage in this man page. TLS and we see this variable LD static TLS extra. The TLS is the thread local storage which can be changed. The minimum is a value of 128 and we're going to select a value that is higher than that. Well, I just like the number four. So let's uh, export this variable 4096 and we try to issue the command again. All right, so as you can see, it has compiled now. So we need to fetch now the Visual Studio plugin. We do it with the command fetch. We have downloaded the file here and now we install it in Visual Studio Code. Now we are ready to start Visual Studio Code. VS Code, let's um, start. And we're going to need to configure here some things. I really don't like uh, black themes. Um, so I'm, I'm going to, sh ch to change this to a white color. 
but what I don't like is the window border. I, I this is a new trend that people just take the window borders out of the. the I, I I don't like it, so I'm going to change it, and um, I'm going to change it here. So I go to uh, Control Shift P and type in JSON and the user settings. So here we type in window mm, title bar style should be native save and it asks to restart well now we have the borders the way i like this is this is how it should be done okay that's that's the way i i like to have my program and before continuing here let's go back to the terminal uh, one directory up and um, let's just create a very small um, rust program Now let's open this folder. So first of all, let's go to the plugins and see we have Rust Owl already installed. We open this file here in the Rust Owl. No, not the Rust Owl, the text, the test. We open the file. Yes, we trust this and git repositories. Yeah, um, here let's go to the actually open folder. Yeah, we have it already. Mm -hmm trust and in the source let's go to the main and we should see now some things happening let's go here to the variable and we see here some underlines and some things this is giving an idea about the lifetime of the variable so here the green underlining it means that it's the actual lifetime of the variable the orange is a value that has been moved so this one um, has been moved here in, in to this function the string from um, if we are looking here, uh, let me see. Yes, the S2, it also has the moved from. So it, it, it gives a really good help for people when they are starting to work with, um, with Rust. Now um, let's try to make this a little bit better and let's go to the marketplace and search for the Rust Analyzer plugin. We have, we have it here, let's install it, yes. 1.4 million downloads so it's a popular plugin but when we go here we're going to see we're having problems with the plugin so let's start here we see there's lots of issues well uh, one of the issues we have is that we don't have the component installed so let's go back to the command line and issue rust app component add rust analyzer on the tool chain nightly 2025-02-22 and now Rust Analyzer is also present and where is it installed? Which uh, Rust Analyzer? It, in this file in slash home test dot cargo bin Rust Analyzer. We're going to need this to configure the plugin here so we can go to file preferences to the settings. Let's get rid of these windows. Uh, we go to the extensions we look at the Rust analyzer and we need a server. The server is here and we need the path, the Rust analyzer executable. We need our FreeBSD binary. So we click here, we get the option to edit this file and we just add in the Rust analyzer server path, we add the directory here, we save and in this case we need to restart VS Code. So restarting it and we should see the icon down here, we're going to uh, see so when I click here yeah rest anal uh, rust analyzer indexing and now everything is working perfectly and we can see also that there is some um, examples here that are being presented and some quite uh, quite new things and additional things are happening so that's it for today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have some comments or suggestions please use the space down below i would be really glad to hear from you if you like the video it always makes me very happy otherwise i wish you have a nice weekend a nice day take care and see you next time bye bye